right, we should be going live. Hi, friends. How's your day going so far? This is Lindsay for Swing Design. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, go ahead and say hi. Let me know that you can hear me, um, that you can see me, everything's working. Um, so today I'm really excited to, um, of course, be um, sharing a project with you um, using one of my favorite tools for the Silhouette Cameo 4. So this is the tool that convinced me to upgrade. So if you have a previous um, Silhouette Cameo model, um, the whole reason I decided to upgrade was to be able to use the rotary blade. That was like a total game changer for me. And you um, can do some really awesome stuff. For me, it was cutting felt. Um, but recently, um, I have um, been experimenting with um, a more delicate substance, um, crepe paper, to make some um, paper flowers. So um, the rotary blade can um, handle that delicate material and um, it's really easy. And I'll go ahead and get started with um, the project. So let me go ahead and uh, we'll uh, change the camera view. So give me just a second here while we change that. We'll put you down here and then I just need to rotate it so we're not backwards. Let's rotate it this way. I hope everyone's having a great day. And let's just go ahead and do this. If you're just joining me, we are using the Silhouette Cameo 4 and the rotary blade. This for me, this was the game changer for me, that rotary blade. I was so excited um, to try that out. Okay, so we got all set up here. Here's my um, mat here. So I've already cut one out, um, but I'm gonna show you how to um, cut one out for yourself. So even though the crepe paper, see, um, it's it's a delicate material it's got these um uh, sorry i was painting <laughs> um <clears throat> oh hi jocelyn um perfectly uh, thank you thank you so much um that really that's really helpful um so the crate paper has um you like all these micro folds to it it's actually a lot stronger than i thought it was going to be so oddly enough i found that the strong grip mat was um the best for this um, so I bought the, this is called petal paper and it just comes in these 12 by 12 sheets and because of those like micro folds, it's kind of stretchy. So what I found was the easiest, um, and most effective way to cut out the flowers was actually to kind of stretch it while applying, um, the, this paper here. Um, so, really want to spread that out to get a really good stick to it. I'm just going to push this on here. So, um, I tried this with the light tack mat and the regular mat. And the regular mat, I was able to cut one out. I did this flower earlier. And I'll show you how to assemble it, too. I've got my um, glue gun heating up here too um, but you know because of this uh, nature of it being that folded stretchy material the strong grip mat just seemed to um, be the best so um, what I want to show you about the rotary blade let me just grab one here is if you're having problems getting it to cut, uh, let me just grab this one. It may be because when um, you first get the rotary blade, it's gonna be packaged up, right? And there's a guard here, it's a safety guard. That is going to be in the, the most down position. So it actually covers the blade, you know, obviously so you don't cut, so you don't cut yourself. So if you've got the, the blade in the machine and it's not cutting, check to make sure that um, you have twisted the guard so that the blade is exposed. 
So that has been like a number one um, issue for people. It's just, you know, a blade's not cutting. Um, check to make sure that um, you have exposed the blade on here. And so, and then this is um, one of the exclusive tools for the Cameo 4. Um, that goes in the second tool carriage. So there's a number two on here and it's got that flat back. Um, so you know it's a Cameo 4 tool. And that's gonna go in your second tool carriage right here. <clears throat> and um, if you've got the, um, this is the Cameo 4. Um, it's the 12 inch wide. Um, if you've got the Cameo Plus, which is the 15 incher, you can use the rotary blade in that. Um, and big news, the Cameo Pro, the big guy, is um, updated um, release is early November. So if you want to be notified um, of pre-orders, then there's a link in the description to um, enter your email, um, go to their website and enter your email so you can be notified as soon as we do pre-orders for the um, big Cameo um, pro so you can do some really awesome stuff with that but um, the these tools um, like rotary blade um, you know the three millimeter blade all of that is going to be able to used in um, all of the cameo for machines all right uh, let's see we have um, so is it Sue's hi Sue's thanks so much for joining me so I'm gonna go ahead and you know let's really make sure this is down here um, that was, I'm going to use my brayer and really make sure that I have this pressed down and then that I found was the biggest issue is if it wasn't cutting right, it's because the paper was lifting. Um, so I'm going to, uh, put it load it into the machine here and then in silhouette studio um let's go ahead and, and here i'll go ahead and show you my screen um so i've got my flower design here and um do you see here let me actually usually when you go into you've got the design i cut out a smaller one earlier um but you know if you end up you know, cutting out a design that's eight inches wide, the flower is only gonna be, you know, like five inches or less. Um, so just keep that in mind. But when you go to the send panel, it's usually, um, you know, tool one um, that um, pops up first by default, but we don't have anything in the first tool carriage. So you wanna close this and open up this tool two here. Um, make sure you've clicked on it and then um, selected rotary cut. Um, so you can see that the rotary blade is detected um, because it, um, the rotary blade in the Cameo 4 has the sensor on the back of it. And that rotary cut is the auto action for this. So you have these extra little lines outside the actual design. So also keep that in mind if you've got other uh, designs on the page or if you... Um, you know, when you need to size your material, you know, keep in mind that you've got these extra lines on the outside. And that is because um, the blade needs to actually reset um, to a different orientation and then come back in to cut it out. So there is a crepe paper um, setting. Um, I was fooling around with it and I actually lowered the force to eight. Um, it was originally set to 15 and I thought, um, that might have been cutting a little too deep. So I'm gonna go ahead and send this and we'll go back to webcam here. And so these kind of, you know, take a little bit of time because I'm gonna move my microphone closer so you, hopefully you can hear me better. Because uh, it's gonna cut the design and then it goes out to the outside to, to reset the blade orientation and then come back in. And I have it set at a speed of five. You could always adjust that um, if you need things to go a little bit faster, but I'm just gonna leave it there and actually put it off to the side to let it do its thing um, while I show you how, sorry, I've got my microphone <laughs> over here, so hopefully you can hear me. I'm gonna go back to um, 
here in case we have any questions. Um, so I did one here. This is that smaller one that I cut out. And um, this one cut out, ended up being about eight inches across. So you'll see when it's all finished how it's going to be much, much smaller than that. So there are quilling tools that have uh, this metal edge and then a little slot in there to actually insert the paper and then start the twisting of it. So you actually just start to roll the paper in on itself. And once you get it started with the tool, you can um, actually take it off and then just do the rest of it by hand. So I'm just rolling this around the tool. And it's getting a little, oh yeah, make sure there's no folds in it. Yeah, at some point you can actually take it off of the actual tool and then start to roll it onto itself. So I, so I have usually, usually been using this quilling tool just to start the roll and then uh, just using my fingers the rest of the way to roll it up. You can roll it as tight or as loose as you want. I'll show you how um, I opened this one up um, when I'm done, um, but you'll also want a glue gun. This is my ancient glue gun <laughs> that I've had for many, many, many years. Um, so uh, it's still going strong. So um, Jocelyn is asking, are those extra cuts applicable to all, like to all materials? Um, and I'm going to say yes, because the rotary blade uh, has to, um, you know, when it's cutting in order to like turn a, turn a corner or an edge, um, it still has to go outside the material to turn it, you know, cut it, turn, and then it'll come back into the design. So when I was cutting felt, it did the same thing. And I think in actually the program, Select Studio, um, there are certain materials that are recognized as being, you know, cuttable with the rotary blade and others that are not. Um, so let me actually go back in here. You'll see screen display. Yeah, so if I go to, yeah, see these, um, in the sun panel in tool two, um, when you go to the materials, there's these uh, materials that have the warning, yellow warning. It says, this material is not compatible with carriage two. So some may not be able to be cut by the rotary blade. Um, but again, you know, the machine doesn't really know what's in there. So you can pick just about any setting and, um, you know, put whatever you need um, on the actual mat. All right, so I've rolled uh, the flower all the way up and then there's this little extra circle in the middle here. And then what I'm going to do is I've got this silicone, silicone mat. Uh, so with my glue gun nice and hot, I'm going to actually just put a little dot of it, dot of the hot glue right onto the mat. And then I'm going to press this circle, the bottom of that circle right onto that hot piece of glue, just like that and it'll go ahead and cool, cool on it. Um, and then the silicone, uh, silicon, I think it's silicone, <laughs> I feel silly, um, will 
not stick to, well, it'll stick to the flower, of course, but it'll, the glue will be able to be peeled up. Let's actually leave that sit a little bit longer. Um, and then our cut is done here, so I'm gonna unload the mat. And then peel up the outside. And actually, I, I'm so sorry, I forgot to link to the, um, the design where I got this from. So I will go ahead and do that as soon as I'm done. But there's different um, types of shapes that you can use so you can make different kinds of flowers all right so then there that cut that out so nicely um and then i am just going to grab a spatula to actually i'll just use my exacto to kind of initially lift it up and then pull it off of the mat here. Here we go. Perfect, perfect. I was actually really surprised that the, the Strong Grip mat worked the, the best for this considering that this is usually a very delicate material um but because you know it was so stretchy I was um it wasn't sticking to the other ones even with the brand new regular mat so I found the strong grip mat worked best for me so uh I have those supplies um linked in the description of this live um as well as bundles that contain the rotary blade um so you can check those out if you want to grab all the tools for the cameo um, cameo four or um, just um, or you know the rotary blade with the the cutting mat we've got that bundle available too all right so now the glue has cooled and it actually didn't adhere this very outside so i'm going to do another another dot of glue this time a little bit bigger and then just plop this down on there just like that and then we'll set that to the side just to kind of dry or not dry I guess cool rather right all right so then the outside start on the outside so and end that doesn't have this little circle and I've been starting it with a quilling tool And you just insert, there's a little slit in the bottom of this, and you just insert the paper into there. And then you start uh, twisting the paper on onto itself, just like that. And you can, you know, twist it as tight or as loose as you want. Sometimes, uh, if you just start twisting it really tight, then you can go back and loosen up everything, um, you know, if, if you don't want it that tight. And then at some point, it's, it gets really bulky and it's actually easiest to just take the quilling tool out and then I can roll the rest of it by hand, just like this. And I like my flowers kind of rolled rather tightly. So you definitely have Lots of creative license here to um, make these flowers any way you like. Keep on twisting, twisting, twisting. Uh, let's see. Oh, Jocelyn, this game changer. Never thought to do that. Oh, I love making paper flowers. I've done these with um, felt too, with the rotary blade. Um, I wish I had some on hand, um, but I did it the exact same way and I used the exact same file. Um, I just cut them out of felt and used hot glue 
with the hot glue on the felt, I would just kind of put a dot on the end every once in a while to adhere the felt layers together. Um, with the paper, I didn't really feel like that was necessary. Okay, here we go, here we go. Then at the end here, maybe let's make this one a little bit looser. Let's try something, let's try something different today, Lindsay. Let's try something different. Stepping out of my comfort zone. I'm gonna loosen this up considerably. And do something a little different than I normally would. Okay. Let's see how this, let's see how I can do this. Okay. Let's put a dot of hot glue there. And then I'm just gonna stick this right on top of it. We shall see. Um, okay, so let's just go ahead and let that cool. This one's cooled enough so that, you know, the bottom is um, nice and solid. And then um, there's some extra glue spilling out the edge, but I, you can just cut that off. There we go. Then what I'm gonna do is put another little dot of glue on the bottom of this flower here. And then I'm gonna fold that circle over and put it on top, just like that. Then what I like to do is I'll come in either with my fingers or I'll take that quill uh, tool again and kind of peel back, fold back the layers of the flower. Oops. I'm gonna open it up a little bit. Now, if you wanted to add a stem to these, um, I think you could probably, you know, do some floral wire, maybe wrap that circle around. Actually, I have some floral wire. Maybe I'll try that. Uh, I, I like to use these on um, pieces of art, like a framed um, reverse canvas, and I like to glue these onto the frame. I think that looks really pretty because um, it's like florally, but it's paper. Uh, okay, so you know, you get the idea. You could fiddle with this, or I could fiddle with this for hours, but I won't. Um, so actually, let me grab some floral wire. Let's see if we can add a stem to these. I got these at the, the craft store, uh, cloth stem wire. So I've never done this before. We are gonna see how this is going to work. But and as you can see, you can create some really beautiful uh, flowers. Where's that other one I did? Flower arrangements. Uh, with this crepe paper and the rotary blade for the Cameo 4, Cameo 4 Plus, and Cameo 4, 4 Pro. Yes, the big guy. Uh, up, expected to ship in early November. So if you want to get um, notified, I'm going to get notified of pre-orders. 
then there's um, a link in the description you can sign up with your email. Okay, so I think maybe with this, what I could do is like wrap the floral. This isn't as sturdy as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like a stem. Maybe if I did like a pipe cleaner or something. But I mean, you get the idea. You could add a stem to these. Um, you could, you know, keep them. There we go. Yeah, you could, I mean, this would probably be green. But I could probably do the hot glue around it. Like that, maybe? Or maybe even, um, yeah, I'd have to play around with that. Um, if you have any suggestions, then please let me know, because I think that would be fun to make a little floral bouquet of paper, crepe paper flowers. Um, I'll just go ahead and finish this one off with a little bit of glue. Yeah, we'll do a little bit of glue there. And right there. This one we did a little bit, I did a little bit looser. My mat is sticking to me. <laughs> and, oh yeah, I like this one. And then, you know, you can fold, gently fold back the extra layers. Sorry, I've got paint on me, paint on my fingers because I was painting earlier today. And, oh my gosh, that's so cute. I love that. This one's a little smushed. But then, I mean, on a uh, framed canvas, that would look so cute. Let's see if I have something. Okay, well, this one's a Christmas one. But, you know, for, a, you know, maybe a more, um, make some Christmas flowers and you could glue them on there. And do like a whole array of them or like a wooden, a round wooden sign. That would be so cute. Um, so I used crepe paper and um, the Silhouette Cameo for Rotary Blade um, to make these flowers. And I think it turned out great. That was so much, I love that. Um, so I'm gonna have to be ordering this now <laughs> in every single color already. So that's all I have for today. I'm gonna go ahead and, and we'll flip the camera around so I can just say a quick um, goodbye. Go ahead and just go like this. And I do have, um, you know, a lot of the supplies that I used um, linked in um, the description. So um, if you're looking for the rotary blade, um, it's available um, in bundles, either the um, Cameo 4 All Tools bundle, um, where you're going to get the pen holder, the um, uh, the punch punch tool, um, the rotary blade, of course, uh, and there's also bundles um, with the rotary blade and the strong grip mat. Um, and I'm sometimes asked, like, how do you know the difference between the different mats? Well, on the edge, they've printed, you know, strong there. <laughs> um, so they're, you know, strong. For that one um, standard for the standard tack and then the light tack mat says light tack if you can't read that just take my word for it light um, so and of course you can see there they're different colors so the light is blue strong warp is um, got the gray edge and then the standard is just that you're clear around it. So um, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. This is Lindsay for Swing Design. I'm glad you're here. Um, if you do any projects, then um, of course we love to see them. Um, you can post them in our Facebook group. Um, and, and, you know, of course, if you have questions, then uh, please let us know. So thank you. And I will see you again soon. Bye.